Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to wiggle. So I don't mean dance around silly, although you can probably apply it somehow to that feature. I am actually talking about the randomization tool inside Adobe After Effects. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring up a word and we're going to make it shake, wiggle, bounce around, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to show you how to customize it for a particular situation like the X, Y, and Z. So let's get started. We're going to make a new composition. And this composition, I'm going to call it uh, Wiggle. And it's going to be 10 seconds. It's HD at uh, 1920 by 1080. Now down in the comp, I'm going to make a new text layer. So I'm going to click on my type tool. And I'm going to type out Wiggle. And this is uh, pretty large. I have it at uh, 216, it looks like, font. So it's pretty big. And I'm going to place it into the middle. I'm going to go ahead and move the uh, pan behind tool, use it to move the anchor point to the middle here. All right, so here's Wiggle, and obviously it's not going to move at all. To make it change position, you could try and animate it with keyframes, but to create a random motion for this, you can just use a Wiggle. And the way you do that is you want to bring up its position, which you can apply Wiggle to all sorts of parameters. And right now, this has got an X and a Y because it's just a 2D layer. If I make it a 3D layer, you'll see I have X, Y, and Z. Or the position 0, position 1, and position 2. That's what these are, are meaning. X, Y, and Z are one, are 0, 1, and 2. So, to place a wiggle on top of this, you have to Alt-click the stopwatch. And that will turn everything red and open the expression. You can delete what's in there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to type in the wiggle command. Wiggle. And then we're going to put a parenthesis. And we're going to type in the interval, which is how often it will wiggle in one second. So I can say it's going to wiggle five times in one second. And the amount of variance or the, the amount that it's actually going to uh, change is the second number. And the second value, I'm going to make it change uh, 50. So it's going to move 50, somewhere in between 0 and 50 um, pixels every second. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and just click back on my uh, layer and show you how it's going. See, it's just bouncing around all crazy. Now, right now, you can see that sometimes it gets smaller. So you get got a little smaller there. And you can see these values here changing. You can see them jumping around. They actually go into negatives as well. Um, so anyway, what we want to do is limit this to where it's not just wiggling all of these randomly, okay? Instead, it's wiggling them uh, as a um, individual parameter. See, if I were to take a look at this, you can see how the graph is just going all over the place, and it's doing it for each of them. But what we can do is make it to where we can choose to wiggle just the X or just the Y or just the Z, or some combination. So let's get to that one. Now the way that's done is you have to set up some variables. Now a variable is just used to organize this a little better. We could put it all in one line, but it's much easier to set up a variable. So I'm going to put in a variable called x. I could easily have put this as x wiggle, just made up a new word, but I'm just going to keep it short and say x is equal to wiggle, parenthesis, I'm going to make this one 3, 60. All right. Now I'm going to put a semicolon at the end because I have two lines. And this uh, next row here, I'm going to type in the way to show position. And the way to show position is through a bracket. And then you type in the variable. And then a bracket. And we type in uh, 0 because x is 0. So this is saying the... Uh, wiggle is going to wiggle the X. That's basically what that's saying. We're saying wiggle 360, okay, 3 comma 60, wiggle 3 comma 60, the X value. That's basically what that's saying. And then we place a comma, and to insert the existing values for Y and Z, we just type in value. So that's going to take whatever value was originally over here. And we put in 1, bracket, comma, value, bracket, 2 and then the closing bracket to complete the line. And now watch what this does. 
this just wiggles left and right because I've only adjusted the X. Let's go back in and add something. Let's make it do a Y. So we'll just add a Y. Y equals wiggle. And we'll make it go really high. So we're going to make it go four times. And we're going to make it go 90. Crazy high up and down. All right. And then to go down here, we'd want to replace the word value in the second parameter here to Y. And that, like I said, I could have called the y equals, I could have called that anything, y wiggle, y change, whatever I want to call it. Uh, I just chose to leave it with a simple letter. And we'll try how that works. And so now it's going up and down, right? All right, and then we could, of course, do the same thing this time. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to do a control C and just paste it. And this time I'm going to do a Z. And for the Z, I think I'm going to go every two and I'm gonna make it really big so it gets really small so I'm gonna say 190 so it's gonna get really really small and then of course we replace the word value with the word or the letter Z alright and then we'll check out what that looks like and so it's going way back into space sometimes just jumping around and if I hit spacebar, you can see it just kind of, whoa, I'm going all over the place. You can't catch me. Anyway, so that's how you apply wiggle.